Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we're in Adobe Photoshop 2022. It just launched and there's a whole bunch of changes I want to show you. In this one, I want to show you the neural filter harmonization. What does it do? Very simple. It matches the color of and tone, pardon me, the color and tone of one layer to another layer. Let me show you first a finished copy. So here's what it looks like, for example, at the end. This is the original shot. This is the, uh, I've got a fighter jet coming through the purple clouds with the lightning. And obviously the jet doesn't really match the color that you would expect if it was this purple out and, you know, there was lightning and, you know, all that good stuff. You'd expect the colors to be a little different. So here is an example. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete this layer and I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So let's go ahead and delete it and start from the beginning. Okay, so the first step here, I've got a background image. It is a nice purple sky with nice lightning flashing. And then I've got a picture of a fighter jet just sort of coming into the screen here, coming right into view. Okay, the next step is you want to head up now to filter if you're following along with me. And you're going to see here neural filters. Left click on neural filters. And when you do that, it's going to obviously load up the neural filters side of things. But here it is, harmonization. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and let you know that this is a 208 megabyte uh, download that you have to do in order to use this filter. So keep in mind that it might take a few seconds. I've already done it. So now I'm going to left click on it and it's going to enable harmonization. When I do that, you're going to see nothing really happened yet. But what you have to do is you got to hover over select the layer. And now I'm going to select background. When you do that, things are about to change. It's processing on device, as you can see here. And presto, this is the default that it gives you. Now, you can go ahead and make changes if you want it to be maybe less strong, for example. So you don't want it to be like that dark. Maybe you want some more reds, even a little more magenta in there, even though it is pretty darn magenta, if I'm being honest. And again, you can make some changes. Maybe we want to desaturate it a little bit, for example. Again, season it to your taste. And for me, maybe we're going to increase the brightness. And again, these are all things that you can change, but by doing that, you can now see that when I left click on OK, before I do that, pardon me, it's going to output it to a new layer so you can compare. So I'm going to go make sure new layer selected, left click on OK, and it does its thing. And now all of a sudden the fighter jet takes on some of the background and some of the tone and color of the background image. This is the before, which is, you know, whatever. It's just two stock images on top of each other. And now it's got a little bit of the flavor. That's all harmonization does. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.